Okay, 10 minute wave. I'm gonna start out with my dark colors. I've already got the direction of the beach going this way, so I'll do the same thing with the wave. I'll start out with my darkest shadow, and that dark color represents where the wave is tipping up and giving us something like a window into the deeper water. But then I'm going to want to blend that into the lighter color. So when I get back down here, I want it to turn light again. And this is more of an impressionistic average of colors that would be a combination of deep water and reflection. So I'm just lightening this to match the color that it's touching, that's all. Because I don't want the wave to just be a sharp line, I want it to gradually turn. And so now, I've got the base of my wave, I'm going to put the dark color in place and actually map out where the wave is going to be. So let's make a higher part here. I'm just going to use blue because I want a big, fun, tropical, turquoise looking wave. We'll make a high spot, a lower spot, highest spot. We'll taper it down right here. Let's make it crashing over on this side. Like that. Put lots of blue on there because I want it to stay wet long enough for me to work it. So all this will be lower because we'll just kind of put white water tumbling over right there. Okay, there's a good, just a layout for the shape of my wave. Wherever I want white water to be tumbling over, I'm going to add white and red or white and magenta. I just need a more purple color for the white water. And so let's take white and start piling it in here. And then I'm going to put a little bit of magenta, especially down here where it's more shadowed. I'll leave it less purple at the top. And here, actually, I changed my mind. I'm not going to leave it less purple at the top. I'm going to put the magenta all over this area because I want it to look like a lot of tumbling white water in here. So let's just put lots of white. We're going to just kind of scribble it around like this. But what's important for this to look like white water is that I have brighter color up here and then the shadow, just like the foam, is more purple. So I'm just using my brush to make the, to make the curl of the wave going in the direction of it. And then I want to make sure that the top is brighter and the bottom is darker. So I'm going to put brighter white right there, put brighter white right here. And then I'll try to just blend it, scribble it around a little bit to get the look of splashing water. And then if it's splashing on the, the wave below it or the water below it, again, I just need to make the splashing area and then make it brighter wherever it's facing up toward the light. So let's put some splashes here at the top like this and then we'll put the more shadowed color below it. So we're going to have blue and magenta also at the base of this little splash. So a lot of consciousness of light and shadow on this white water. Okay, let's add that purple in there and mix it until it's not so purple. Put it up in here, so now it's kind of under the wave, and now I just need more white so that it actually looks like white water splashing. I need those highlights. Who was it that was doing the highlights? That was you, Jenny, mm -hmm. doing the highlights on the big wave downstairs yeah. that we were working on. So same thing, I'm just dabbing pure white to the top of this until it's just bright enough to look like it's in the light. Mm -hmm. So now I've got the water tumbling over. And then here's a little trick you can do to add the deeper, darker water to the top of it. Let's go green and blue, and we'll just put a strip of water here because you can actually see into the water as it curls over you can see into that section of water that curls over like this so I'm going to put that in there put darker blue green water just right here right across the top of that curl okay if I want to get a little bit of that color in there I'll pull that color down like this then it has the translucent look because that blue-green is affecting the white water and it's curling over. Okay, I'm running out of time. Let's put green right here, high parts of the wave. 
need to be greener as they get brighter because the color shifts toward yellow, not to yellow, toward yellow as it gets illuminated by the sun. Or another way to think of that is it shifts away from violet on, on the rainbow, if you're looking at the rainbow. Then away from violet would be the same thing as toward yellow. So let's brighten this. Five minutes. Okay, okay, we're halfway done, halfway done. All right, we've got an excellent timekeeper right there. <laughs> <sighs> okay, I've got the brighter section of my wave, and now I'm gonna put white water on top. So I'll just put white all over. This lower spots are probably crashing over more. They're starting to curl, so that's why they're lower. I'm gonna try to keep my shapes in, in a direction like this so that my wave has some perspective. So here they're kind of straight down and uh, I, I would like to see them go a little more over in order to have perspective on my, on my curl. But I'm just gonna settle for that because it's a 10 minute painting. Okay, let's put more white right up in here. This wave is really crashing, but I don't love the way this looks like there's just this even white water all over. So some of it, I'm gonna color with these purple colors to be like a lot of white water. Some of it, I'm just gonna make like crystal clear water that's coming forward. So the clear water, where it's not tumbling over a lot, I'm just gonna add the same deep color I put at the top of this. You would see that when you're looking into these, these large, large sections of water that are coming forward, forward. So I'll have a lot less of the white visible on these areas so that it looks like this is just kind of coming forward but not tumbling over. And then where I want it to really be tumbling over, I'll grab my violet color. So let's add, I've already got all the blue in there so magenta is all I need and I'll put a bunch of, a bunch of uh, shadow down and, and mix this purple color into that. And now it's more of tumbling white water than, than that less disturbed clear turquoise water. And then I'll try to put a little more white on top of this here. Let's make this tumbling down a little bit. Adds a little bit of a directional flow to it. Same thing over here. Let's put white at the top. And here, and then we don't need very much here at all. So over here, we'll just we'll we'll keep the darker colors because we don't want to have a ton of white water in here. So let's put that in there, <coughs> down there, and then we'll put a little bit of light in this wave. I feel like that's a good spot to have a little bit more light. Let's put some in there, and then I want to have a little more shadow visible at the top. So a quick way to leave the shadow visible is just to brighten the middle. That's the fast way. If I really wanted to be more detailed, I might add just a touch of black to that so that it looks like a, a downward facing shadow rather than the deep blue water that's down here. So making this top here, let's just put a little bit of magenta in there. Also. Not black, Two magenta. Let's add an opposite color to this turquoise to, to take some of the saturated turquoise out of it so that it looks a little bit more like a shadow on the surface because more saturated colors show translucency. So if I just have this less saturated shadow, then it curls that wave over. Here, and I'll bring this up a little bit. Let's get rid of some of that white water because I like this tall looking wave right here. Now I can add a little bit more of this bright green highlight. Let's make this the brightest spot. Use thalo green, white. There we go, now I've got some nice accents on the wave. It's fun to put those accents in once everything else is set up to, to uh, be in harmony with it. Let's put a little more of this effect over here and then I'll be done. Dark blue, dark green. Then I'll take a little bit of white. And we'll just go, just pull it down like that. This one hasn't hit the bottom yet, so we'll just say that that one is just still airborne. We don't have the sea foam under that one. All right, 10 minute wave, done. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's good. All right. Best beach scene I ever painted right there. <laughs> <laughs>